So why does a charged body attract a neutral body? We are going to explain this right now. So let's draw these two bodies. We have a charged body here. Let's say that this body is positively charged. By positively charged, it means that it has more positives than negatives. So I'm only going to indicate that only positives, but we all know that there are some negatives in this body, but only that this body is just having more positives than negatives. It has that. Then we have another body here that is neutral. Now, this body being neutral means that it has an equal amount of positives and negatives. So this is the neutral body. Let's call it body B. This is neutral and this is charged. So the question is that why does a charged body attract a neutral body? So now what have, remember we have this law of electrostatics that like poles or like charges will repel and unlike charges will attract. So because like charges are going to repel each other and unlike charges will attract, when we bring this body closer to body B, when we bring this charged body to come closer to body B, what is going to happen is that these negative charges will be attracted towards this side. I mean, these negative ch you know, charges will be attracted, the electrons. So when they are attracted, it means they are going to move closer to this surface right here. So when they move closer to that surface, it means that you are going to end up having an excess of negative charges on this side of this you know, this body. So when this excess charge of uh, negative charges on this side of the body, you'll find that you, these negatives have drifted from the back here. So it means that this side, we have an excess of positives. And while this side, we are having an excess of negatives. In other words, this neutral body now becomes polarized because we've brought a charged body near it. And since we all know that uh, unlike charges attract, so that explains why, you know, the attraction happens. Let me write this explanation briefly. Just to throw more light on this explanation right here, we are saying that when a charged body is brought closer to a neutral body, this is the charged body being brought closer to a neutral body, an opposite charge is induced on the near end. This is the opposite charge we are talking about that is being imposed on the near end. In this charge, in this case, the charged body is a positive charge, so uh, the opposite charge being ch induced on the near end is the negative charge, as you can see there. And so it continue. We call, I continue to say that on the uh, that. So we are saying that an opposite charge is induced on the near end of the neutral body, uh -huh. and a similar charge indu is induced at the far end of the neutral body. That similar charge we are talking about is this one. This is a positive charge. So a posit another positive charge or the similar charge we are talking about is this positive charge that is induced at the far end of the neutral body, which is right there. So, uh -huh. so since um, that happens, then we go ahead to say that since opposite charges are closer, the attractive forces become greater than the repulsive forces. Now take note here that this is positive charge, this is negative charge. So you find that the positives and the negatives here create an electric field and they are closer to each other. Then these, you know, the positive charges here that are at the far end. The positive charges that are, that are at the far end are, re, are being repelled by the positive charges here. And the distance between these positive charges and the positive charges at the far end is greater than the distance between the positive charges here and the negative charges right at this end. So since the opposite charges are closer to each other, then you're going to have a stronger force of attraction than that of, you know, repulsion. So that's what we mean here when we say that since opposite charges are closer 
attractive forces become greater than the repulsive forces, hence the attraction. And that explains why a charged body will always be at will always attract a neutral body. And that's it. My name is Arnold Ranga Kuramia and this is Kisembo Academy. Take care.